Rap mogul Suge Knight has been arrested in a deadly hit and run. After being questioned by homicide detectives, Knight was taken into custody around 3 a.m. He was held on a $2 million bail and could face a murder charge. Suge Knight's attorney says that the uh, former rap mogul accidentally ran over and killed a friend and injured another man while he was trying to flee some attackers. But, it says here, a red pickup truck drove into the parking lot of a fast food restaurant and its driver started arguing with two people. The argument escalated and the pickup truck struck the men and then took off. Looks like he drove backwards and struck the victims and then drove forwards again and run over them again. The people we talked to said it looked like an intentional act. Suge Knight founded Death Row Records, one of rap's leading labels. He had all the big name artists on there. I'm sure all these names uh, ring a bell. Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Tupac, I think he even had uh, Vanilla Ice, and I, uh, I believe also MC Hammer had something to do with it too. He's been in and out of trouble with the law. And last August, he was shot six times, and he still lived. As I'm sure most of you hip-hop fans know, Dr. Dre was in, uh, in one of the founders of NWA. And it had Easy e and Ice Cube and a couple other people, MC Ren. Dr. Dre and the DOC wanted to leave both NWA and their label Ruthless Records run by Easy e According to NWA's manager, Jerry Heller, Knight and his henchmen threatened Heller with Easy e and lead pipes and baseball bats to make them release Dr. Dre and the DOCs from their contracts. Ultimately, Dr. Dre and the DOC co-founded Death Row Records with Suge Knight. In 1987, Suge Knight was arrested for domestic violence. He assaulted his girlfriend and cut off her ponytail. Also on Halloween in 1987, he was arrested for auto theft and carrying a concealed weapon and attempted murder. He had allegedly shot a man three times while stealing his car. He pled guilty to a misdemeanor and received two years probation. Two years later, Knight formed his own music publishing company, and his first big profit came off of Vanilla Ice. Ice Ice Baby. Ice Ice Baby agreed to sign over the royalties uh, to, to him because the song included material written by one of Suge Knight's clients. Knight and his bodyguards confronted Va uh, Vanilla Ice several times. On one occasion, Knight entered Vanilla Ice's hotel room and allegedly dangled him by his ankles off the balcony. All this leads up to where he was involved in the deadly hit and run, which led left one person dead and another p person hospitalized in Compton, California. This has been Unraveling the Matrix. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.